All right, all right, everybody. This is DJ Blazing coming at you. And right now, we are with Poncho, the five-year hip-hop artist. Poncho, how you doing? Man, DJ Blazing, now I'm blessed and truly high favored. I just want to thank God for everything that he's done. Hey, it's always a great thing to thank God and thank the Lord. Speaking of thanking the Lord and speaking of getting hyped up, we talking about basketball. When we talk about basketball, we talk about Mr. K.K. Simmons himself. So, uh, hey, we talking about him? Yes, we talking about him, Poncho. Now, give us your story on K.K. Simmons, how you all two met. And I understood that there was some problems between you and him in the school year, uh, 2015, 2016. What were they all about, and have you all resolved them? Well, I mean, uh, DJ Blazing, it started off like this. I was uh, running the bases at the Upaka baseball field. And then, as I uh, left, I seen the Upac practice team, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to go in there and see what's happening. So I go into the Upac practice gym, and then all of a sudden I see uh, guys like Macari, uh, Coach Yoder, Coach Ross, and Christian, uh, KJ, uh, Big Mike. I mean, these guys was huge, and they was, like, in shape. I was like, wow. I've not even been here five minutes, and they're getting ready to smoke me, I can tell. And then I saw K.K. Simmons. Uh, he was shooting them threes like crazy and taking it into the lane. So as I'm watching him, oh, like all the guys, they start hollering at me and everything. And then all of a sudden, uh, K.K. hollers at me. He's like, yo, what's up, man? How you doing? And he was like, did you transfer? And I was like, yeah. Well, he's like, same here, man. Hey, good to have you, brother. So, I mean, me and him, we clicked off. And then, like, three months later, I'd done a promo. Like, it was on myself, but I, ATM was, like, in the mix. So, I was like, okay. So, I do this promo, and uh, everything's fine. But, like, two or three months, three months later, like, 737 was coming up. And I was giving a testimony, and I was also doing my hip-hop uh, freestyle. And so, we're in the gym, uh, Expo Center. It's about February, and I talked to Q and Dennis. I was like, hey, I'm gonna be here senior day, man. I'm gonna be playing next year senior day. And while we're on senior day, I was like, hey, KK, come here for a minute. He's like, yo, what up? I was like, man, I want you to come to 737 uh, next week. He's like, okay, man, 737. I was like, I got a special uh, VIP seat just for you. And so, I mean, he didn't come to 737. Uh, none of the basketball players actually really did. Because it's hard to get basketball uh, players' attention. Like, you have to really be doing something in order to get their attention. Man, I know what you talk about, Poncho. I definitely know what you're talking about. So, two months later, uh, April, I get a phone call. And they, it's board directors uh, for one, and then number two, coaches. They was like, come down to the office. So I go in there and talk to them, and then KK's all hyped up and upset, man. He's like, man, don't be uh, talking about me, talk about somebody else. I was like, okay, what's going on? And then all of a sudden, like, they was telling me about, uh, you know, you shouldn't have done this promo, whatever. I mean, it felt disrespectful to us, which. I really wasn't putting the promo on the basketball team or players or coaches. I was doing my promo because it was on the, uh, how do they say it? In, it was on the chart, basically. And from that day on, I mean, me and KK, I think our friendship went downhill as far as talking and hanging out with each other. I mean, so I decided, uh, in the months to come, I was doing promos. I was doing promos exactly directly to him. Man, he got hyped up and upset really quick, which I don't blame him. And he was like, man, in September, it was a volleyball game. And me and my good buddy was sitting down just watching the game. And then all of a sudden, KK comes over. He's like, yo, yo, homie, what did I tell you? And he was like, I was like, what? He's like, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about uh, me getting talked about and stuff. It's like, I don't want no more of it. He's basically saying enough is enough. And so uh, I retaliated on a promo. And then me and him just kept on going back and forth throughout the school year. And because what it was, it was supposed to, 
the lead up was supposed to be the best hip hop artist in Kentucky versus the best UPOC athlete. It was set to take place March 27th of 2016, but that really never happened because a management for basketball, UPOC management, and then on account of the board of directors. So that really, the storyline really went downhill and really nothing did happen. And basically, like, it's because of a promo is the reason why our friendship went our separate ways. But we recently maintained friendship, uh, like, in the closing weeks of school. So, I mean, me and him are definitely cool again. But I still love my brother KK. I mean, I know he's listening, what, uh, listening uh, wherever he is. And I'm so glad and proud of you, man. I hope you do great in life.